today I'm going to make a hyper-realistic cake of an avocado. Now watch carefully, because at the end of this video, I'm going to place the cake avocado among real avocados. And I want to know if you can guess which one's the cake. If I can still trick you after you watched me make it, then that's a W. My name is Natalie Side Surf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today I'm going to show you how I made an avocado cake. Let's make some art, some still life art out of cake. You may not know this. Wait, of course you don't know this. <laughs> My high school class voted me most likely to become an artist. And what do you know? I am currently making art for a living. It's like my classmates saw into my future and they knew I'd be an artist. In reality, they likely didn't put that much thought into it. While they were filling out the most likely form, they got to the question, which of your classmates will most likely become an artist? And they thought to themselves, who do I know who makes art? I think Natalie makes art. Yeah, I'll just write her name down. <laughs> Either way, I have a career making art now and I am very grateful to be doing so. I've loved art since I was a young Natalie. I remember the exact moment that my family recognized that I had artistic talent for the first time. It was Christmas time and I had a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer coloring book. There was one page in particular that I really liked. It was of Rudolph standing in the snow at the North Pole looking looking super adorable. I loved cute animals as a kid. So I decided I wanted to redraw this particular cute Rudolph coloring book page. That year, Santa had gifted me this little kid-sized easel where one side was a dry erase board and the other side was a chalkboard. So rather than just draw Rudolph on a piece of paper, I chose to draw him on the chalkboard side of my new easel. So I'm in my bedroom, I'm taking my time, I'm drawing Rudolph in chalk, as closely as I could to the drawing in the coloring book. So I finished up the chalk drawing and I proudly brought the easel into the living room to show my parents and my aunt and uncle who were over for dinner. I was very young, so my memory is a little fuzzy, but I do remember their reaction to my drawing because I was so surprised by it. So I showed everyone the chalk drawing and they couldn't believe it. The whole family was super impressed. And I remember thinking to myself, I draw pictures all the time. Why does my family like this particular drawing so much? And then, under her breath, my aunt said to my parents, She couldn't have traced it. It's on a chalkboard. And that's when I realized my family always assumed that I was tracing my drawings rather than drawing them freehand. So that's why they were impressed by this one. <laughs> that moment had a huge impact on me. I was very happy to have made everyone so happy with my drawing. I was just a kid who finally recognized that they were good at something. <laughs> Check out this mug. This is a Side Surf Cake Studio mug. You can get one too at shop.sidesurfcakes.com. And if you're left-handed, just images on both sides and get your own. As I got older, art was always the class in school that I excelled in. My art teachers always seemed to like me. When I was in sixth grade, my art teacher took me aside. I got a little nervous because I thought I did something wrong. <laughs> but she told me that I really should consider taking art seriously. She encouraged me to take as many art classes as I could once I got into high school. She thought that I was good enough to really pursue art. And I did. I took a bunch of art classes in high school and through college. All it took was a quick conversation for her to really impact my future. I still to this day appreciate her encouragement in that moment. She even entered me in my first local art competition. And guess what happened? I didn't win anything. But I learned a lot from the experience of entering work in a competition. It helped me get comfortable with the idea of like putting myself out there and putting my work out there to be judged. And I've been putting myself out there ever since. One of the first art competitions that I ever actually won was a national cake art competition in Austin, Texas back in 2012. The competition entry form recommended that I enter the beginner division for a few reasons. I had only been making cakes for about a year. I had only made a couple sculpted cakes at that point, and I had zero hours of professional cake instruction, so I hadn't taken any cake courses and I had not gone to pastry school. So I was extremely green. I was a cake noob. I went to enter the competition and I decided that I wanted to compete in a more advanced division so I could compete against more advanced artists. I felt like my traditional art background was enough to allow me to compete at a higher level, and that 
that meant that I had to work really hard on my entry, and that's exactly what I did. Since it was a competition, I figured it was the perfect opportunity for me to make something kind of crazy, something that I wanted to make that I felt like no customer would ever order. So I decided to make a realistic human bust, and I chose to make it in the likeness of singer Willie Nelson. He's pretty popular here in Austin, so I thought people would like it. I had such a hard time with that cake. I just stacked cake layers the height of the sculpture. So that's 14 inches of cake with absolutely nothing supporting it. So as I was working on it, it actually started to lean. Like Willie's head started to like shove into his neck like this. Somehow it held up. I ended up winning all kinds of awards. I got first in my category, best in division, and even best in show. I genuinely did not expect that. I was so excited. In 2012, a realistic human bust made a cake was so unique, even Reddit loved it. Well, some loved it and some loved to hate it, but that was cool with me. My brother posted a picture of it on Reddit and it reached the number one submission on the front page. Number one. And that was when I realized that people were really entertained by by my strange approach to cake art. It probably didn't hurt that it was Willie Nelson too. Lots of jokes about him being baked as a cake. And shortly after the competition, I started Side Surf Cake Studio. I kept working towards getting better for years. It was a lot of hard work, but eventually people recognized my hard work and I was genuinely proud of it. I wasn't always proud of my work. <laughs> Winning that competition really helped guide me to where I am today. And there you have it, an avocado cake. Do you know which one's the cake? This avocado's a little, maybe a little bit old. <laughs> All right, on to the best part. Let's cut it. I'll see you next week for another cake.